I have a couple of pack eye shadows that the brand has sent me. Here are the eye shadows. So they have sent me quite a lot of them. I like 16 of them, and uh, I thought let's do let's use these eye shadows. And this magnetic palette is also from Pack. I kind of like the quality of the magnetic palette, and uh, it's big. It has this clear lid, and uh, you can store quite a lot of eye shadows here. I have already stored 16. I guess. Uh, I think I think this can store like more than 25 eyeshadows so this is like a very good palette if you are a makeup artist or if you are a bridal makeup artist and the quality is also good this is a cardboard uh, palette with magnetic uh, lid so I have stored four of their blushes and uh, 16 eyeshadows I'm going to use these eyeshadows today uh, to create an eye makeup I'm not sure what colors I'm going to use because uh, there are quite a lot of beautiful shades. They have sent me a lot of warm tone colors. The eyeshadow base, I have just applied the concealer, so I'm going to go ahead with the concealer only. My I Love Chocolate palette from Makeup Revolution for darker matte shades because I cannot use all the shimmery shades to create an eye makeup look. It doesn't look that great. First of all, we have to create a crease. For that, I'm going to use this shade. I really like this palette from Makeup Revolution. This is like I love chocolate eyeshadow palette. It has such a beautiful mirror here. The quality is really good of the palette, and the eyeshadows are really good. I was I used to use this a long time uh, ago, but I I have so many palettes now that I kind of forget. But I picked it out because I wanted to do a neutral look. Now I'm going to take this chocolate brown shade. This one. And uh, put it on my outer corner. Now, what I'll do, I'll take that pack cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to use this one, this shade. This is a very pretty plummy eyeshadow. Uh, this one, purplish plum. And I'm going to use it all over my eyelid. There's a lot of fallout, can you see? From this eyeshadow. I don't know. I cannot pick much from with the brush. I'm going to use my finger. It looks very dark in the pan, but on the eyes, it doesn't look that dark, which is... But with fingers, you have less fallouts, see? Or absolute no fallout here, but a lot of fallouts here. I'll take another fluffy brush and my Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm going to use this, this particular shade, which is like a greenish brown it's like a very dirty brown this one and I'm going to use this on the outer corners of my eye I should have had used this palette only because it has beautiful shades I really want to like the eye makeup but I cannot because I was not expecting it, expecting it to look this dull. It looks very dull. Unfortunately, I'm not liking these eyeshadows. There is so much fallout. Can you see? There is so much fallout and pigmentation is not that great. I'll swatch a couple of them for you. So, I'm going to take this one, this one, this one, and this one first. They look smooth on the arm but uh, doesn't show up much when I try to apply them on my eyelids. You might have already seen that. I'll take the next row which is the top row here. Pigmentation is not there 
uh, which is very disappointing because it kind of has ruined my makeup. So I have used this shade uh, from the Makeup Revolution palette and can you see how pigmented it is? This is the shade and it is very pigmented. I'm going, to, I'm going to do something about this makeup because I am not liking how sheer the eyeshadows are. So Now I remember why I used to love these eyeshadows so much because these eyeshadows are amazing, amazing. Uh, now I'm going to take uh, that brown again, this one, and blend the outer corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the under eye area with the makeup remover white for the kajal I'm going to use this color bar uh, mesmerized kajal and the same kajal I'm going to use on my uh, lash line Going to take the same uh, this shade and apply it on my lower lash line. I will apply the pro concealer. I am going to use the NYX HD powder for my under eye. I'm going to use my L'Oreal brow kit. For my blush, I'm going to use a uh, pack cosmetics blush only. I'm going to use this blush, this one. It's a pretty blush with a uh, shimmer. It's very pigmented. For highlighting, I have this uh, this blush from Pack Cosmetics. This one which will work more like a highlighter for me. I'm going to mention all the shade names in the info bar so that if you guys are interested, you can pick them from Amazon or Flipkart. This is a very subtle highlighter, very pretty. For the lips, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to use a neutral lipstick from Maybelline, which is Nude Nuance. And uh, it's a pretty brown, uh, brown lipstick. And to finish off my makeup, I'm going to spray some color bar stay the day mist. I'm not impressed with the formula of these eyeshadows. So these will need an opaque base to work on. Because you guys have already seen, they did not work on my uh, concealer kind of eyelids. I just had concealer on. For these eyeshadows, I would need an opaque base, colored base most probably. Like a colored eyeshadow pencil and over that I can layer these on. Because the, some of these have very smooth formula but most of them have a, a sheer finish. Which is weird because uh, they are like pigment, they look pigmented, they look nice when you touch them. but. The formula is not very pigmented, so I'm not sure you can give these a try. These, uh, if you are a makeup artist, you can uh, give these a try. I'll go with my old trusted uh, and tried palette. This is I Heart Makeup, uh, I Heart Makeup I Love Chocolate palette. This is one of the best eyeshadow palettes I have tried till date. It has a lot of neutrals, it has matte shimmer shades. 
this is a beautiful palette if you love doing your eye makeup and you love neutral tones then this is going to be a really good palette it also comes with a brush but i generally lose those brushes it has beautiful shades like this beautiful bronze then it has this shade this is very pretty this is very pretty this is like a perfect eyeshadow palette if you are get, going to get married soon and you need something that can go with almost any of your outfits then this is a really good this is a really really good palette it has a perfect blend of mattes and uh, shimmer shimmer shades i will see if i can find it on it because getting hold of this palette is really difficult it just gets sold out immediately this is a really 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 pa uh, nice palette so if you are not interested in buying this palette or if you, this palette is not available online then you can probably go with uh, maybelline the nudes the first one that has neutral shades that is again a really beautiful palette so either this or that so as far as the blushes from this palette concern uh, from pack cosmetics concern i have already tried this blush one and this blush stayed on for like good 7 hours on me uh, it looks beautiful it gives you a beautiful flush and uh, the shimmer particles are very fine you cannot even see them i'm going to swatch the shade uh, with my finger here is the blush then the other and the third blush the blushes are nice the blushes are very nice and i'll mention all the shades like the shade i have applied on is blue 305 so this is what i have on my face right now i like to that i'm wearing right now is blue 304 so 305 is the pink one and 304 is the champagne kind of color very pretty good for highlighting and that's about it i have used on those shade i had to salvage this eye makeup and use the makeup revolution eye shadows i'm glad that it has kind of uh, saved the day so if you guys enjoyed this makeup look and a quick uh, review come demo if you did do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you are watching me for the first time please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you very very soon in my next video till then bye